Everyone loves an inventor. In Europe, we have no small share of them, pushing the boundaries of knowledge in pure and applied sciences. They win the plaudits of peers, too, as the German technologist Josef Bille did during the recent European Inventor Awards for his groundbreaking technology in laser eye surgery. But for decades, they've been waiting for a single Europe-wide patent to protect their work, plodding expensively through every member state to register an idea. Now it's back to the drawing board after a landmark agreement last month fell through at the last minute. After 30 years we've got to this point and I think really it's a sorry state of affairs. A unitary patent system is something that we really need at this moment in time. Uh, in terms of economic growth and building our way out of the situation we are in, this gives us a huge step forward. This week MEPs are working through the consequences of the European Council's decision to extract several articles without consultation from a text painstakingly agreed earlier. A patent is there to the patent inhaber to schützen. And when we take the heart out, namely the definition of what is protected and what is not protected, then it is a law without content. The Rat has it simply not in his head. He still has the old mentality, we are the chefs. Translation and administrative costs mean Europeans can face registration fees of up to €30,000 compared to the 2000 inventors pay in the US, blunting their competitive edge. We have uh, many partners in the United States, Europe uh, and also Asia. So it is increasingly important to have patents so that uh, we can transform innovation into commercial value. Many points have been agreed, co-hosting the new European Patent Court in Munich, Paris and London, for example. That Spain and Italy won't be part of it. But there are still fine details to work through and inventors are hoping it won't take too long.